Good morning and Merry Christmas. It is December 25th and we're just baking while I'm making coffee and then we're gonna open our presents. We're not uh, huge present people. guys it's a winter wonderland outside <laughs> okay i'm getting ready now i have taken a shower i am going to use <laughs> this new dyson hair dryer i'm so excited about this you guys um i am like speechless that the bow got this for me yeah i was gonna pick it up for myself and i was going to get it during the um sephora uh sephora rouge sale uh, because you get 20 percent off but then I talked myself out of it, and then I was going to use my HVC points to um, put towards this because I had like two fifty, three hundred dollars, uh, no, two fifty, two hundred fifty dollars. But then I ended up using the, that towards um, my winter boots because I was like, oh, I don't need a hair dryer. I have one, this one that you know works perfectly fine. And again, I talked myself out of it, but I have been kind of eyeing this for, I mean, the last year. So I am like speechless that he <laughs> he got me one. Anyway, I'm going to use it today. I've been playing around with it a little bit and it's just as amazing as I thought it would be. successful um, blow dry. <laughs> I actually really really like that um, that hair dryer. Although I do notice one thing and it's the cool shot. Um, the cool shot is definitely not as cool on the Dyson hair dryer as it is on my Con Air one which is kind of surprising but it's probably that way by design obviously. Anyway I'll talk a little bit more about the differences um, maybe in a later video but I'm really happy with the hair dryer. My hair looks super smooth. Um, I have to say a lot less frizzy than probably what my Conair would do. Usually I have a lot more baby hairs sticking out when I blow dry with my Conair. Um, but here I do not, which is pretty impressive. Usually, yeah, I have like a whole bunch here. And there is still a little bit, but really that's a tell because I have so many baby hairs here that like really frizz out when I blow dry my hair with my Conair. Um, but yeah, we are going to head over to my parents' house now. Okay, I am officially canceling. Apple Music, but uh, since I already paid the $9.99, I have access to January 12th. If this is my third time trying to cancel it, it is making it so difficult. I just no longer want Apple Music, take a hint. And I'm waiting for a note for like a confirmation email, but nothing. So I don't know what's going on. I just want to cancel it. Apple Music is like this sand trap that won't ever let you out. So I'm trying to cancel now on my iTunes, on my MacBook, and it still says I can't. Okay, I think I'm going to call it a night. Um, we got home from my parents' house a couple of hours ago, and then we've just been hanging out kind of in a food coma and watching some Netflix Christmas specials, just like those little shorts like Shrek the Halls and um, Home for the Holidays. They're kind of like funny but also kind of nonsense <laughs> anyway it's um yeah christmas day evening now um oh let me show you guys quickly what my mom got me um can you see it it's the um little gold bracelet i kind of loosened it because i was actually about to take it off but it's fun because it has this like little toggle that you can um use or pinch together to make it tighter or looser Anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas day if you celebrated, and if not, again, I hope you enjoyed your sad holiday, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.
Good morning, it's Boxing Day today. So one more day off before I have to go back to work for two and a half days and then it's a long weekend again. It is really, really cold outside today. Um, I wanted to go to Chapters to get a new bullet journal because they're on sale, um, I think they're like 40% off. And I also wanted to get a memory card from Costco. Those are like my two Black Friday purchases I'm pretty excited about. Uh, I don't really need anything else, so. I'm not really gonna do too much shopping other than that. I just need a new bullet journal and a memory card and that's it. Also, it might just be all in my head, but my hair looks really good this morning. <laughs> Normally, my hair does not look this good the day after, especially after I sleep on it and it's like second day hair, but I can actually manage to like wear it out down perfectly fine. I can't definitively say that it was the hair dryer that's the cause of this, but I am uh, pretty impressed with the second day hair. Okay, while I make some waffles, I'm watching this Netflix series. It's a an animated series. It's a DreamWorks Netflix series. <laughs> and it's called The Troll Hunters. And I thought there was a movie called Troll Hunters, but I could be mistaken. Anyway, I'm only on the third episode. They're quick and easy episodes to get through. Like I said, it's an animated series. So if you're not into cartoons, essentially, then you're not gonna like it but it's just about this, um, I presume, teenage boy or elementary school kid, and he becomes like the troll hunter, and his destiny is to defeat these evil trolls. Anyway, I'm on episode three. They're 20 minutes, 25 minutes long, and I actually quite like it. Okay, we are now at Costco. Um, Chapters is a bit of a fail. They did have the notebooks, however, the 40% off is only online. So while I was there, uh, they were all full price, but I ended up ordering one online. And now we're at Costco, and that was actually also a fail. The memory card I want is actually a micro SD card, which doesn't quite work with my camera. We have so many gift cards that we got as gifts along the holiday season. So we have one for Home Depot, a bunch for the keg. So it's like $200 worth, which is pretty exciting. The keg has, I think I mentioned this before, but the best sangria. And then a $25 Kara gift card. Is it actually still called Kara? I am not sure, but it's for all of these restaurants. Okay, we're back from Boxing Day shopping. It was a bit of a fail at first, which I mentioned while we were in Costco. But when we went to Best Buy, um, I found a an SD card. So this is just a Sony one. I feel like there's probably a better one that I could have bought, but they were all very uh, picked over. <laughs> There's only kind of a few left. And this is the best deal that I found. So it's 128 gigabytes and it was um, $49. I think regularly it's $100. So I thought that was like a decent deal. Um, it only reads 70 megabytes per second. I don't know what the write speed is, but it's probably like 40, 45. That's usually what it goes for. Anyway, I am going to set this up. I use Magic Lantern on my DSLR. So I always just load it up with that um, after I like reformat it. Um, I just really like using Magic Lantern. I've grown accustomed to using it. It uh, allows me to tweak the video ever so slightly. Um, so I always add it onto new SD cards that I use for my DSLR. So I'm going to do that. I'm gonna watch Troll Hunters. Um, oh, I also wanted, before I end um, the vlog, this is probably my last holiday vlog, for 2017, but I wanted to talk about the Lusitan advent calendar. I am really impressed with this advent calendar. It was regularly priced, I don't know, something like 69 or $70, $80 maybe, and there was two, so this is the more inexpensive version, um, and I got it on a kind of a deal for Black Friday. I got like 10 or $20 off. Anyway, I love this calendar. It was so fun to open it. I love um, pretty much like 80% of the products that I got. Even the products that I wasn't like fully in love with, I still use and I still liked. It was really more of a like scent or fragrance preference rather than the product being awful. Um, all of the products that I tried, whether it was a body lotion or a body wash, like worked really well. Um, it was just that maybe I preferred one like fragrance over another. So the Verbena fragrance, not a huge fan of. Still great products, they just, again, it's the fragrance that kind of um, 
kind of threw me off a little but i really love this calendar i would highly recommend it if they do come out with this again next year i will be definitely picking it up so i still have a lot of products actually here that i need to use because um, I wasn't able to obviously use everything before the end of the 24 days. This fragrance, by the way, smells so good. This is something I would definitely consider picking like a full size up of because it's so nice. It has such a like a floral um, scent to it and it's really nice. So it is a combination of rose with violet um, and spicy notes of saffron. So that's probably why I like it so much because you guys know I really love like that rose fragrance. Um, but I have like a bunch of these that I still have to go through. But I'm very excited too because most of the products that I have tried so far I've really loved. I can't plug this enough. I'm not sponsored but if you see this next year you should pick it up because it's really nice. Okay, that is going to be the conclusion of my holiday vlogs for 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, I kind of crammed all the holiday vlogs in like the last week. I was like uploading them consecutively. Also, if you're wondering, I was just doing a very unscientific testing between these two hair dryers. That's the Dyson one. And then that is the one that I've been using for a while. This is the Conair one, which, you know, I really, really love. But I gotta say, I, really, I like the Dyson a little bit more. Anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season, no matter what you celebrate, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!